Hello everyone, Russ of Aquamax Pets here with my latest isopod breeding project. The ones on the left are Porcelio Levis How Now. This is a strain or morph isolated by Kyle Candelian of roachcrossing.com. On the right, I have some Porcelio Levis Santa Rita Mountains. These were, uh, this is stock that was originally collected in uh, Arizona, when I was on a Sky Island adventure with Peter from Bugs in Cyberspace. And these are, uh, there may be a couple of the adults originally from that stock, and I, I don't know, but uh, most of these are descendants from those that I collected. And uh, I'm going to try to cross these for a couple of reasons. One reason is because the uh, how nows are true Levis, and the ones on the right, as far as we know, are also true Levis, but they're very adapted to uh, desert life. They occur all over many different places in Arizona, and I collected them in the Sonoran Desert, and Sonoran Desert was the locality we originally had listed for these, but it turns out that, uh, though that is accurate, it's not terribly precise, and I was talking to Peter about it, and he suggested we use Santa Rita Mountains, uh, which is much more precise for uh, this locality where we collected it. So um, I want to determine if they are indeed Porcelli Levis. And if they are able to cross and have fertile offspring, then that's pretty solid support for the idea that they are indeed Porcelli Levis. Um, another reason why I would like to cross them is because you see on the left, the how nows have this lovely um, sort of caramel color with white uh, markings as well reminiscent of dairy cows or milkbacks in some ways, but also unique in, in their own right. I would love to see what this patterning looks like with, uh, I mean, I love it the way it is with the caramel sort of color, because these are descended from the caramel line that Roach Crossing isolated. Uh, I would love to see what that looks like with the dark gray of the wild type, and then these white, this white overlay marking sort of effect. So that would be fantastic to see. And uh, so what I'm going to do is take one s very small, unmated, very, very young individual from the um, Santa Rita Mountain stock and put it with a group of very young, unmated uh, how nows. The reason why I'm doing it that direction, why I'm only using one Santa Rita Mountains individual and various um, how now individuals is because I suspect that the traits involved and there is more than one trait involved in the how now um, visual appearance more than one genetic trait involved that those are probably recessive traits and with the uh, sensory to mountain stock they're, they're the wild type probably just have the dominant wild type traits so by crossing them with one individual of the, the wild type any offspring that I see that appear to be wild type I know that those will be crosses and if I did it the other way around I wouldn't be able to tell if they were just full-blooded wild types or if they were crosses so that's why we're doing that and uh, I hope to see um, in a few months you know it takes a while for the little ones to grow up I hope to see some crosses and uh, then the I'll have to cross those apparent wild types which will be het for all of the traits that make up um, how nows if they are all single gene recessive traits. When I cross those, I should be able to see some that have some of the um, how now traits in that second generation. So the F2 crosses of the F1 uh, offspring, should I should see some that are, that are caramel labus, some that have the appearance at least of caramel labus, some that look like wild types, and some that have the white overlays on the uh, wild type gray, as well as uh, probably some that have all of the how now traits. Well, that's probably what we're going to see, but I'll be very interested in seeing how that works. And that is assuming, of course, that they are indeed the same species and can cross. So I'm really excited about this. If you haven't checked out the project that I'm starting to try to do a cross between orange labus and how nows, like Derek Niehaus has already done, he calls them Colby Jacks, and you can check out that video here. Thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams and shorts during the week as well. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.